talk to this lovely character? Uh, sure. Yeah, the guy with the banana for the head? I'd his say head? the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So I'm you must sure how be to here to play it, cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The that ain't Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game? Steak Damn it, he Charmer? cheats, doesn't he? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How do you play Indian poker? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that... we just play a game of name the multiply. highest number? I can win that immediately, infinity. But is that a real number? Yes, it is. Anyway, does the carpet match mm. the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? So we should have named our like. guy in West of Flow, You then. look more like, a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. I think that was his name in, when we, in, uh, the Poker Night game. It, it, this character is actually from uh, the original Telltale Poker. Oh, really? And he just shows up here to, well, I guess, keep doing it. Yeah, I don't know if his name was Boris Crinkle, though. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. You want to play a round of Indian Poker? I imagine we have to get one out of the way just to figure out what's going on. Yep. Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? First, let's ask. Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first. Wanna play cards? Hmm. Sure, let's play cards. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction starting now. Find out if he has anything else he can say. Let's play Indian Poker! We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian Poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. Mm. How does he look up at the I ceiling? Card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, in or out? We'll... We want to see what happens if we if we bet or what? I mean it. Yeah, might as well. Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. There are uh, there are numbers higher than a ten. Chama win. Yeah. Oh, uh, what do we have? Like oh, two. Gambling yeah, nice. does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, to take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the job. And we'll be back. We'll be back. Just remember to bring your money. You want to take a guess at how he knows? There's a little man in the ceiling that tells him. Actually, no, it's a mirror. Wrong. It's the nose. Wait, oh, what? One shiny nose. Almost as shiny as. Ah! Oh, okay. Too. And you know how we combat this? 
do we hit? How do you get the... Oh, of course, you've been throwing it the whole time. Wow, it sticks. He's got some... Stick You're telling me he's not... He's not going to know the difference between the white card on the red nose and, like, an actual card? Well, I suppose he's stupid enough, so let... I mean, he's literally cheating the mafia in here, so time to cheat the cheater. Hello, cuddly bear. Want to play cards? We want to play Doesn't cards. Doesn't this just go to show that everyone around here is pretty incompetent? Just a little more. Let's play again. Deal. All right. Betting all ten million. You only got a bet one. So you in or out? We are in. Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I you you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You pay up stick, Chama. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats 10 million times in a row without passing out. Well, Steak Charmer's ruined. Thank goodness someone around here had $10 million for no reason. I know, right? So now we go back to Moscow. Do you want to take a guess at how crazy this, uh, this, uh, this go uh, listening device is going to be? Uh, I swear, is it just like... It is literally just two cans tied together with string, isn't it? <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, really? It is not. I'll look around a bit more if you want to take another guess. Did, you know, wait, but Bosco, we're right in front of you. Why do you need the microphone? Because he's so cr he's weird. Okay, it happens. Um, Holy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Oh, so Wonder Bread. Whee! That works. The inside the music camera. Anyway, you, uh, would you like to see it now? It's, it's... It's like a big funnel, kind of like a like a megaphone-shaped thing. You want one more guess? It's a human ear. Okay, that's your last guess. Hey, Bosco. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of St. Gainsbourg, these are not a million. Thank goodness, those like 30 tokens somehow. No, but there are 10 million of them. Hmm. $10 million. Dollars. The prizes at teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This it's is a an bug. earwig. Precise Damn it! Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a numb boy. You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I seen him kill Larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir. So, <laughs> you like the bug? Uh, thank goodness we are able to put General Patton here in our pockets and he'll go out and fight the enemy for us. Pretty much, yeah. And uh, here's the thing, you, you can't, you see, you see Joe still can't hear the, what's going on on the screen because of reasons. Uh, Joe, that thing can actually mimic anyone's voice. 
Oh, that's even more fun. He, when he repeated what Max said, it was exactly in Max's voice. Did he learn Where that one, Tom? I don't know. It's a good question. Anyway. Teddy Bears, Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! I don't think they sent many impressionists over there, but you never know. Okay. Welcome Any more fun Teddy games Bears, that we can Mafia destroy? Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Not Step really. right up, kiddies. We got fun and games. But there is when do we get to meet to Dave and at. Busters? We have to look at this. Oh, what's this for? Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Is it awesome? Isn't that just worth... Go ahead. Isn't that just worth five dollars? I suppose, but <laughs> quite frankly, I want a I want a meatball sandwich now. I bet you can get one for five dollars. Oh, let's well, beat this I'm rubber ducky at poker. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Let's play one arm oh. game. A one arm ah, it's a little. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. What are the odds that we win this? Zero? Hundred? Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling oh. addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it. What's the password? You may have it. That's what we need the bug for. Gotcha. All these people and they're whispering. Don't they know it's rude? Nah. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! Are you serving the that. bug to the, Think, boy. In the buffet? Uh, I got apparently Hold the it, mug. Not mugs. Max! I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Uh, this? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. The password is swordfish. Nope. The password is rosebud. Nope. The password is password. Nope. That's what I was gonna say. Damn it! Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Password nope. is Betty White. Who's on first? Uh nope. Password is the Jolly Green Giant. The password is Dr. Stongun. Who's your daddy? Nope. Password is do you know the way to San Jose? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be Dang back. it! Like I can. There's, there's gotta be a place somewhere over there where we can place the bug, but I'm not sure. In his butt? No. Wait, Put it in his butt. Maybe we can have it listen to this guy. Yes, we can. Now it works. Oh, good. And some random multicolored bear is going to show up at some point and... Insert token. No, then... Whatever. It is. We have to play the one-armed bandit, I think. You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the pay? Why does he keep... Cut? Does he just love how much we're winning? You may have to. Why does he have to keep giving him the password? If you're inside, don't you know the password? I think it's like a security thing, like if his mask got taken off. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? 
That's got to be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. And yet we didn't notice Good. the thing. Let's go in. Give me the pack. I should have guessed it was something Italian. Yeah. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Good thing Max doesn't have to give the password. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look, that must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did 10 minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can surprisingly use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? Oh. Isn't that all on Max's resume already? Well, probably, uh. but do you, let's, let's join. What do you say we join, Brother Joe? What? What? I'm asking if you want to join the Mafia. <laughs> I thought you that sounded like a cult. I mean, same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good to me. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckle. Bad news. Get the dry cleaning yeah, you know, and what? Have been stolen. Take down there another mafia. Three jobs I need you to do for us. Crap. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Any guesses of what we have to do, basically? Mm, I think we have to find a really sturdy. Uh, person that isn't going to move for a while. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure you oh, display oh. them on the sale table in the front I have a feeling store. we know him. No problem. Yep. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Now I'm more confident. <laughs> uh, so... Wanna guess who we have to then we then we have to slap Bosco across the face. Okay. Who like a soap opera. We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Are you silence kidding me? Silence as in gag her? Gag her with At least everyone's pistol. in the same place. <laughs> yep. You want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. You, and you obviously know the meatball sandwich. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective. Does that suggest Deal with more than feet, one person wants fit. that sandwich? Like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. I mean, surely there's got to be another mob that deals with food. This one deals with toys. Why, why, why couldn't there be one that deals with uh, uh, food from the 1950s? Sure. Why not? I think we got it. I think we got it. Do these Does that make Radio Shack Max, part of the mob? You shall be as we are. Could they, could they, they be their own branch? branch? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Well, let's not chance it. 
<laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. A word of advice. Can we talk to everyone I'd else? Like you to. Maybe. When you walk away from the toy mafia, watch your back. Or are they too busy standing? Let's find out. It's amazing how menacing these guys can look in spite of the teddy bear heads. See, everyone's got an expression on the bear head that makes me think that they're, I don't know, beavers deep down. Looks like you can monitor the whole casino floor from there. And a few other places besides. Or you can watch Mary Tyler Moore. Who told you about that? What is this thing? Mine. Stay away from it. Okay, we'll leave then. Yeah, I know exactly how to do each and every one of these things. You better. Oh yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, Geo Joe 2000 and uh, uh, Luigi Fan 891.